Hey guys, it's Ryder here, and I'm going to be talking about the Suicide Squad in Arrow. So, yeah, currently we're in Arrow Season 3. The Suicide Squad were a team that was introduced in Arrow Season 2. Now, this was not the Suicide Squad we know and love with Harley Quinn and Deathstroke. In Season 2, our Suicide Squad team consisted of Deadshot, uh... Bronze Tiger, and Shrapnel. And then obviously John Dickel worked with them, and Amanda Waller. But it really consisted of two, well, three main team members. Shrapnel gets killed off. Um, but Floyd Lawton, Deadshot, was our main, you know, the main team member there. He was really the leader of that. We saw him in a few other episodes in Season 2 and Season 1. And I'm happy to report that Floyd Lawton, the same actor, Deadshot, will be coming back for the upcoming Arrow episode. It's in two weeks from this coming Wednesday, and it is going to be called Suicidal Tendencies. And obviously, you don't even have to know who's in it, and you can just read the titles, and it says Suicidal Tendencies. I mean, that's obviously Suicide Squad. Now, currently, the team members that are involved with the Suicide Squad in that episode are only Deadshot and Cupid. Now, if the CW is smart and Greg Berlanti and everything, if they are smart, they will, you know, introduce a whole other slew of characters. Now, the character Deadbolt, uh, or Deathbolt, I forget his name, but he will be coming up soon, so maybe we can use him. Really, what I'd like to see happen is have Amanda Waller demand Oliver Queen, you know, and the Arrow team to release Slade Wilson and Captain Boomerang. Now, most likely they wouldn't release uh, Slade Wilson because he, one, I don't think Manu Bennett's available as an actor. Two, I think if they did release him, he would go insane and crazy. And I don't think, even if they did put a bomb in his head, I think Deathstroke would still be crazy as, you know, as shit. So, I can definitely see Captain Boomerang coming back for this episode. Now, I don't know if that actor was available or anything, but I think he was definitely underutilized. Just for that Flash and Arrow team-up episode, I think that's, you know, you're doing a Suicide Squad episode, tribute episode. There is a Suicide Squad movie coming out in the next year and a half that consists one team member is Captain Boomerang. Why not advertise this character, show people this character, before they get people excited for the, the movie? That would make the most sense to me. Um, do I know if they would go with, you know, more characters like that? No, I don't. Um, I think I'd like to see that, though. Um, you know, the Suicide Squad is some of the coolest, some of the coolest, you know, team members in the DC Universe. So, yeah, and now it comes to the big question, big team member, and that is Harley Quinn. Now, we did get somewhat of a tease of Harley Quinn in the episode, in our first Suicide Squad episode. And to be honest, I was very, very disappointed that that happened. That they, you know, that, that they chose to tease her in that kind of way and not utilize her at all and not even mention her at all. I would really like to see that. Now... You know, they had the actor and everything, they're the actress, and they did promo art and everything with Harley Quinn. And I'm not saying I want Harley Quinn to be a main, you know, team member, because obviously I think I really want to see Margot Robbie do, you know, as her. But I think I would really like to see her maybe be behind the scenes or just be locked up and they would have to talk to her, or if they could do a backstory. But the thing is, one thing that they did that kind of makes me wonder about who really is left in this, you know, this universe that they've created. And that is one big thing. You have Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn is pretty much her, herself and psychopath and everything. Partially from Joker. Partially from the Joker. Now, if they have Harley Quinn, I mean, that, that probably means that there's a Joker. And if there's a Joker, that probably means there's a Batman. And if you've got Batman, Flash, and Green Arrow, and then now Supergirl, 
and the Teen Titans and everything, then there's probably Superman out there. And actually, there is Superman out there in this universe. Um, and I'm going to talk all about Superman and his role in this new universe tomorrow in my Supergirl video because, you know, I'm doing a bonus video for Supergirl, uh, you know, the upcoming TV series on CBS. And, you know, it, although it is supposed to mainly focus on Supergirl, there, well, I don't want to talk too much about it to, right now. I'm going to talk all about it tomorrow. But yes, yeah, Superman is in this universe. And if you don't believe me, come check back tomorrow on that Supergirl video that should be coming up around 4 o'clock tomorrow. So we'll have to see about that. Um, but really, there's, this universe is actually kind of big. And just by something very small like Harley Quinn, that opens up multiple, multiple doors into this big universe. Now, I understand that, you know, Greg Berlanti and DC, they've come out and said that they really won't be, they're not doing Batman, they're not doing Superman. Superman, all right, like, like I don't really want to talk about Superman because that's all about tomorrow's video. I could do it now, but I want to do it tomorrow. So, really, they're just not doing them because they're big characters. But I think we really will see cameos from these characters and little tiny things and something that was really nice about this new upcoming spin-off series which is probably going to be some sort of justice society all-stars tv show my whole things on that is the uh justice society it seems very likely and that's going to be led by adam with black canary and firestorm so those are the three confirmed characters now. If you want to learn all about that and the characters that will probably be joining the show, go check out that video on our page. But really, you know, there's just, if by bringing a, a Justice Society TV show or something like that with just multiple like big DC characters, which that's what it's going to be, big DC comic book characters on the show and a team. So, you know, even if that's not Justice Society, by bringing a team on that, you know, here on like that what's really awesome is that it just opens doors and something that i absolutely loved about smallville smallville was great so great i've actually just been re-watching some of the episodes lately but it's just so great such a great series but one thing i absolutely loved about it was how they had so many characters now i want to point out they did have the super they had the superman returns movie happened it, you know during the smallville era they were you know the man of steel movie was announced when smallville ended and then smallville continuity w with the comics and everything so really the main gist of what i'm saying is that they were able to introduce so many big characters i'm just gonna rattle some up star girl dr fate cyborg aquaman booster gold blue beetle I mean, these are just some of them and Amanda Waller, you had a whole freaking Justice Society. Whole freaking Justice Society. You had Superman, Green Arrow, uh, Martian Manhunter. Alright, freaking Martian Manhunter was on that TV show. Basically, what I'm getting at is that DC can do this in this new universe by bringing on Super. They have Supergirl, Flash, Arrow, Teen Titans. Between those three series, and then plus this new Justice Society or whatever team up spinoff team up series, I want to see more. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to click, share, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for that Suicide Squad stuff. And come back tomorrow for Supergirl videos. I'm Ryder, signing off from Toys with Attitude. Keep running, guys. Bye.